Welcome everyone to 10 minutes math. Today we will solve together IGCSE Cambridge International Exam Map Paper 2 Extended, which is uh, 0580 22 February March 2015. The question The number of hot drinks sold in a cafe decreases as the weather becomes warm. What type of correlation does this statement show? Now let us see. The number of the drinks sold in the cafe decrease. The number of the drinks sold in the cafe here, the number of the drinks sold in the cafe decrease. So it's a decrease. When the weather becomes warm, warm means that the temperature will be increased. Okay, so decrease and increase, it's a negative correlation shape, so the answer is negative. Negative opposite, both is the same. Question, find the lowest multiple, lowest common multiple LCM of 24 and 23. To start this question, you want the lowest common multiple. So 24 is 2 multiplied by 12, 12 is 2 multiplied by 6, 6 is 2 multiplied by 3. 32 now is 2 multiplied by 16, 16 is 2 multiplied by 8, 8 is 2 multiplied by 4. Now here is 2, here is 2, here 2, here 2, another 2. Here we have two also, and here we have two. So the answer will come in this way, two multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by, we have here three and here four. So multiplied by three, multiplied by four. Let us bring our calculator. Let us two, multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by three, multiplied by four. The answer is, the third question, the base of rectangular tank, 1.2 meters, and take into consideration of the unit, it's a meter, multiply 0.9 meter, and the water in the tank is 53 centimeter deep. So the height of the water inside the tank is 53 centimeter. Calculate the number of liters, so this is another unit, this is meter, meter, centimeter, and then he wants the the father, your answer in liter of water in the in the tank. So he need the volume of the water in the tank using unit liter. He need the volume of the the, the water inside the tank using uh, he was using liter. So you know that one meter cube is equal to one thousand liter. One thousand liter. So. To start to solve this question, he needs the volume. The volume is equal to the base area multiplied by the height. The base area multiplied by the height. We will use a meter cube and we change it at the end to liter. So 1.2 multiplied by 0 0.9, this is the base, or this is the area of the base, multiplied by 53 centimeter, I divided by 100. To change it into meter so now everything in meter this is meter this is meter this is meter to change between meter into liter i need to multiply by 1000 multiply by 1000 let us start to use our calculator 1.2 multiplied by 0.9 multiplied by 53 divided by 100 multiplied by 1000 equal to 572 so the answer is 572.4 liter 572 let us see the answer again here 572.4 liter liter again this question to mark 
So not only the final mark, uh, answer he wants, he wants also this equation. One mark for this equation, one mark for the final answer. Let us go to the another question. Factorize 14p squared plus 21pg, bq. Now, how many marks he need? He need two marks again. So, to start to factorize these parts, 14 and 21, it means 7. 7, 2, 3 squared plus 3pq. This is b squared and this is b, so we can take this b outside, so the final answer will be 7, b, 2, b, plus 3, q. This is your final answer, now you will take the, the two marks. Now this question is very important. This these are the first five terms, the five terms of sequence, okay? So this five, uh, the first five terms of a sequence, 13, 8, 3, minus 2, minus 7. Find the nth term of this sequence. Now, 13 and 8, the difference is minus 5. From 8 to 3, it's minus 5. From 3 to 2, minus 5. From minus 2 to minus 7, minus 5. So now I have minus 5. This is the sequence in the, <clears throat> in the series. You know that the series is a number. How it looks like the equation of the series plus or minus or multiplier or divide over another number here multiplier or by n let us see the sequence here the sequence here is minus 5 so we have minus the number here is 5 so it's a 5 so we have minus 5n now, still missing here one number. To understand this number, if we put this number as a 13, which is the first one here, 13 minus 5n, when n equal to 1, so the sequence equal to 8. 8 is the first number in the sequence. No, 8 is the second number of the sequence. So we need to add number here to make the final answer equal to 13. This number will be 13 plus 5. To bring the number before 13, before the first term of the sequence. So let us write the equation now. 18 minus 5 n. How I check my answer? answer. Let us draw a table. When n equals to 1, the answer is 13, which is right, the first number in the sequence. When n equals to 2, it's 8. When n equals to 3, it's 3, and so on. So the answer here is 18 minus 5n. This is your answer. See this question, this is geometry question. In the, in the in triangle ABC, CN is the uh, sectors of angle ACB. Using roller and compass only, so you need to use your tools. Construct the uh, locus of points inside triangle ABC that are 5.7 cm from B. Open your compass and the unroller and the measure 5.7 5.7 centimeter compass and start to use your P point P 
as the center of the circle that you draw and start to draw from here the side of the rectangle to here the side of the rectangle start to draw the curve start to draw the curve don't extend the curve outside the rectangle the triangle keep only the curve inside the triangle this dimension now the radius is 5.7 5.7 centimeter all the point at this curve has a distance equal to 5.7 and the point is inside and the point is inside the inside the triangle ABC now read the second part of the question sheets the region inside the triangle ABC that's more than 5.7 from B more than 5.7 from B and BC and the nearest to BC then AC here to BC then AC where is BC this is our BC where is the point where is the point to more than more than 57, all the point here in this region is more, more than 57. 5.7, more than 5.7 centimeters. So if I hatch everything in the triangle, it means I go to the reach AC. But he said that near to BC, then AC. So you need to hatch this area only. You need to hatch this area only so this is your area which is more than more than 50 5.7 more than 5.7 and near to a b c then a c so if he didn't give us the second condition where is the point I need to hatch everything after this line? If this is the line, I need to hatch everything after this line. But he gave me now another condition, one mark and one mark. Let us go ahead. The, this question also is the geometry question. He asked, draw the diagram shows a circle center at O. Find the uh, value of x. He want the angle x. How many marks in this question? Two point or two marks. Now this angle here is fifty three. The where is the same angle with the same arc? Where is the angle with the same arc? Say it will be equal to this angle, this one. So this angle now. Because the same arc here, so this angle also 53. As you know, if this is the center and this is the diameter, the angle face to the diameter all the time is 90 degree. This is another condition of the circle. So this angle is 90. Now in this, in this, here in this triangle, what is the condition that we have in this triangle? The triangle, as you know, the total summation of all the angle of the triangle is 180. So 180 minus 53 minus 90. Okay, is equal to x. So x is equal to 180 minus 53 minus 90 <laughs> minus 53 minus 90. Or if you like to write it like this, 180 is equal to 53 plus 90 plus x. As you like, it will be the same. Okay. So x is equal to, let us bring our calculator, 180 minus 53 
minus 9th. So x is 37. So the answer here 37 degrees. And this question also is a geometric question. The diagram shows an isosceles tri uh, triangle. Find the value of x. Find the value of x. This is equal side triangle. So again, this is x. So again, the submission of all the angle of the triangle is 180. So 180 is equal to x plus x plus 45, uh, 44. So 180 minus 44 is equal to 2x. So <laughs> divided by 2, divided by 2, we will find x. Let us bring our calculator. 180 minus 44 equal divided by 2 equal 68. So the angle x is equal to 68. Okay, the second one, the second part of the question, and this is two marks question. He said that the exterior angle of regular polygon, so this is the exterior angle of polygon 24 degree. Find the number of side of the regular polygon. So we need the number of side of the regular, <coughs> the regular polygon. Find the number of the side, you know that N, which is the number of the side, is 360 divided by theta. And theta here is the, the exterior, exterior angle of the polar. So N is equal to 360 divided by 24. Let us use our calculator again 360 divided by 24 equal to 15. So the number of the side n is equal to 15 side. 15 side. This question we have Ahmed Batuk. And uh, Shanda share $1,000 in the ratio of 8, 5, 8, 7, and 5. Calculate the amount each receive. So we have three children has 1,000, but it's not equal. It's 8%, 8, the ratio is 8, 7 to 5 for each one. So if I write A, to B to C, it's 8 to 7 to 5. The submission here, 8 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to 20. It is equal to 20. So the submission here is 20. So A, the amount of A, will be 8 divided by 20 multiplied by 1000. For B, it will be 7 divided by 20 multiplied by 1000. For C, it will be 5 divided by 20 multiplied by 1000. This is the amount of each one of them. Let us start 8 divided by 20 multiply by 1000 this is the, the amount of the first children here let us go to the second one and one b7 divided by 20 multiply by 1000 equal 
350. So here 350. And the third one is equal to 5 divided by 20 multiplied by 1000 equal to 250. So the number is here 250. How I check my answer? zero let us add all of them together zero and then here would be 1000 so it's right answer okay it's right answer no need of course in the exam to add this step okay i add this step for you to understand how to check your answer if you add the three number it must be equal the submission of the three number must be equal to the must be equal to the, the total amount of money, which is 1,000. Total amount of money, which is 1,000. The question, Bevin save X each month. So Bevin save amount of money called X each month. His two brothers, he has two brothers, each save four more than Bevin. So if Bevin save X, First plus brother save x plus four, the second one save x plus four. All to all together, all together of the three boys save twenty-six each month. All of them, the three boys save twenty-six each month. Write down an equation in x. So he need the equation in x. So how it looks like your equation? X the first to the baven plus x plus 4, the first brother, plus x plus 4, the second one, all together is equal to 26. So, 3x, 1, 2, 3, plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, equal to 26. So, the equation... The equations will be equal to 3x plus 8 equal to 26. Now solve your equation, find the amount Bevin save each month. How many, what is the value of the x or how many amount of money Bevin save each month. So 3x the equation plus 8 is equal to 26 so 3x is equal to 26 minus 8 divided by 3 divided by 3 we find the we will find the value of the amount the money saved by Vevin if each month so 26 minus 8 is equal to 18 divided by 3 equal to 6 so Bevin save each money each month 6 Bevin save each month 6 solve simultaneous equations you must show all your work so we have two equation and we need to solve this equation we need to solve the two equations. The first equation is half x minus 8y equal to 1. The second one is x plus 2y is equal to 6 and a half. To start to solve these two equations, we need to change one of them <laughs> to be similar as the other. To be similar as the another. So we can subtract or we can divide. So let us go to the first equation and multiply both sides by 2. If you multiply both sides by 2, now what is, uh, what is it will go? It will be, this equation will be x minus 16 y is equal to 2 okay this is your equation when you multiply all the side by 
2. Now, let us subtract this one minus the upper one. This equation minus the upper one. So, x minus x will go together, equal to 0. Minus 16 minus 2 will be minus 18. So, minus 18y will be equal to 2 minus 6 and a half will be minus 4 and a half, 4.5. Okay, so this minus now will go this minus, and then if we divide by 18, divide by 18, let us see the answer of the y, let us go to our calculator, 8, sorry, 4.5 divided by 18, 4.5 Divide by 18 equal 1 over 4. So y now is equal to 1 over 4. So y 1 over 4. So now we find y. We can go any of the two equations, this one or this one, and find x. So let us go to the first one. So half x minus 8 y how much 1 over 4 will equal to 1 4 with 8 is equal to 2 so half x minus 2 is equal to 1 so half x is equal to 3 Half x is equal to 3. Now multiply by 2, multiply by 2, x will equal to 6. So x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 1 over 4. And you must give him all your stuff. The population of Alton is decrease, decreasing, is decreasing. At rate decreasing at rate 3% per year. So every year the population of this country decreases by 3%. So the remaining population in this country every year is 97%. The, in 2013, the population was 50,000 people. Calculate the population after four years. So after four years, how much the population, calculate the number of population, give your answer correct, give your answer correct to the nearest hundred. And this is very important. How many marks for this question? Three marks. So, <coughs> The population in this country decreased 3% again per year, so the remaining, which is 1 minus 0 0.03, the remaining population is 0.97 or 97% every year were remaining from the population. So, at 2014, the population is 50,000 multiplied by 0 0.97. In 2015, will be this number multiplied again by 0.97%. So again, in 2016, will be all of this number multiplied again by 0.97%. So every year we take the previous number of population multiplied by 0 0.97. So after four years, the population P will equal to 
How many, how many number of people in the country now? 50,000. They will decrease by 0 0.97. 0 0.97 first year, 0 0.97 second year, 0 0.97 third year, and 0 0.97 every year. So power year n or power 4, the number of the year. So the number of the year will come here as a power over the number. So let us go and calculate the population. 50,000. <laughs> 50, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 50,000 multiplier by 0 0.97 x y because we need the power power 4 equal to now this is your population after four years four 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 two six four two six four point point how much point sixty four point sixty four so point sixty four if you write this answer here, you will take minus one. Why you will take minus one? Let us see the question. The question said nearest hundred. Nearest hundred. So where is the hundred here? The hundred is this, this number two. So now six is more than five, yes. So, 6 will increase this number by 1. So, the final and right answer is 44,300. 44,300. Careful to the, again, read the question. It's very important in the math exam to read every question and understand the units and the precision of and the precision of the question okay let us go ahead to the another question x varies directly as q root of y what is the meaning of this statement the meaning is x is var various directly with the cubic root of y. This is the meaning of the first line. When x equal to 6 or x equal to 6 when y equal to 8. Find the value of x when y equal to 64. So x is various directly with cubic root of y. So when x equal to 6, y, y is equal to 8 under cubic root because this is the equation. Okay. How much is x? I don't know. If y is equal to 64. Now, cross multiplier, cross multiplier, x multiplier by cubic root of 8 is equal to 6 multiplier by cubic root of 64. Let us write the equation, cubic root of 8 multiplier by x equal to 6 multiplier by cubic root of 64. Divide by the cubic root of 8 and divide by the cubic root of 8, you find x. You will find x. So actually x will equal to 6 cubic root of 64 divided by cubic root of 8. You know that cubic root of 64 is equal to 4, 
cubic root of 8 is equal to 2. Divided by 2, divided by 2, so 6 multiplied by 2, x will equal to 12. And again, it's 6 mark, and 3 marks. Again, 3 marks, so you need to, you need to show your step. You need to show your step. Let us go ahead to the question. Find the equation of the line. Find the equation of the line. It's perpendicular, and this is very, very important. It's perpendicular to line y equal to y equal to 3x minus 1. And this line, which is perpendicular, is passed through the point 7 and 4. 7 and 4. So, you remember that the equation of the line y equal to m, which is the slope multiplied by x, plus c. This is the general equation of line. This is the general equation of line. So, according to this line, which is y equals 3x minus 1, so the slope of this line m is equal to 3. So, what is the perpendicular slope to this line? The perpendicular slope of the line, so m perpendicular, is equal to minus 1 over m. And this is very important equation that you need to memorize all the time. The, the slope perpendicular to the line is equal to minus 1 over the slope of the line. So I can understand now the slope of the perpendicular is equal to one, minus 1 over 3. So, the equation y1 for the perpendicular will equal to minus 1 over 3x plus c. From where I get this equation again, this is the general equation, y equal to mx plus c. So, this is the slope y equal to slope minus 1 over 3x plus c. So, now this is the equation I need to find what is the unknown now. The data that I need to find is C. I need to find C. Let us go to the second condition that we have. The line passed through point 7 and y. 7 and 4. So when y equal to 4, x equal to 7. When y equal to 4, x equal to 7. So let us go and write y equal to 4 equal minus 1 over 3. 7 equal to se x, sorry, x equal to 7 plus c. From this equation, c is equal to, let us go to our calculation, calculator. 4 plus 7 divided by 3. So C is equal to 19 over 3. Why I add plus here? Because actually this number, this number, total number here, will go to the another side with different sign, which is plus. So, C is equal 19 over 3. So, what is the equation now of the line? The equation of the line. Yes. The equation of the line now is Y is equal to minus 1 over 3X plus 19 over 3. So we can start to draw the equation of the line here, y equal to minus 1 over 
x plus 19 over 3. This is the equation of the line. You can write more. And this is the perpendicular line, the equation of the perpendicular line. Now it's a matrix. Find A. This is A matrix. 8, 3, 4, 2. Find the A square. A squares mean A multiplied by A. This is the mean. So I need to find 8, 3, 4, 2 multiplied by 8, 3, 4, 2. Remember how to, how to multiply the matrix using the manual multiplication, 8, 3, this is row, multiplier by column, and then again, row, multiplier by column, and then again, row, multiplier by column, and then again row multiplier by column. Let us write the matrix 8, the first number here, 8 multiplier by 8, 8 multiplier by 8, plus 3 multiplier by 4, plus 3 multiplier by 4. Second number which is here, 8 multiplier by 3, so 8 multiplier by 3 plus 3 multiplied by 2. 3 multiplied by 2. Now, row multiplied by the column. So, 4 multiplied by 8. 4, 8 plus 2 multiplied by 4. 2 multiplied by 4. And again, row multiplied by the column. So, 4 multiplied by 3 plus 2 multiplied by 2. So, what will be the numbers of the matrix? 8 multiplied by 8 plus 3 multiplied by 4. So, equals 76. So, that's the first number here. 76. The second one. 8 multiplied by 3 plus 3 multiplied by 2. Will be equal to 30. So, second number here will be 30. And then 4 multiplied by 8 plus 2 multiplied by 4 equal to 40. So, the number is here 40. And then 4 multiplied by 3 plus 2 multiplied by 2 will give us 60. How you check your answer using your calculator? And this is very important. So follow me in the step, please, because this step is very important. Okay? Let me move the calculator a little, up, little bit up. Yes. Now, to start the matrix, you need to change your mode. So, click at mode. Matrix is at 6. So, 6. Now, what is your matrix? My matrix is matrix A, which is 1. 1. This matrix is 2 by 2. So, 2 by 2 is 5. 5. Now, let us add the number of the matrix 8 equal, and then 3 equal, and then 4 equal, and then two equal. To save this matrix, go AC. Now we save the matrix inside the inside the calculator. Let us now start to multiply the matrix A multiplier by A. So go now shift four, which is a matrix. Which matrix you need? I need matrix A, which is number three. So three which is matrix A, multiplier here, multiple, and then again, shift 4, multiple by which matrix? By matrix A, which is 3. 
So now mat A or matrix A multiplied by matrix A uh, and equal. This is your matrix. 76, the first number, 30, 40, and 60. So by this way, you can start to check your answer. You can start to check your answer. Okay. Let us see the this, uh, the second part, which is A minus, which is the inverse of the matrix. Let us solve direct to the calculator. Okay. So again, shaft and then four. Which matrix I need? I need matrix A, which is three. What I need? Minus one. Minus one. And then equal. So it will be half. Okay. And then three over four. And then, sorry, minus three over four. Minus one. And then two. Let me write this answer here. So it will be guided for us when we start to calculate it. Now, the first number is half, so the first number here is half, and then minus 0 0.75, and then minus 1, and then the last, the last number here is 2, and then 2. Leave it here for us as a guide, and start. let us start to solve a minus 1. To find A minus 1, we need to find the determinant of we need to find the determinant of the matrix. How I find the determinant of the matrix? As you see, this is our matrix 8, 3, 4, 2. To find the determinant of the matrix, we start to multiply x multiply. So determinant is equal to 8 multiplier by 2 minus, and don't forget the minus, 3 multiplier by 4. 3 multiplier by 4. So here will be equal to 8 by 2, 16, 3 by 4, 12. So it will be equal to 4. So a minus one will be equal one over the determinant, which is one over four. This is your matrix. So now a uh, eight and two eight and two we convert the location so two will come here and the eight will come this side and then we will add minus here and minus here two minus and then we keep the diagonal as it is three and four so a minus one a minus one Will be 1 over 4, 2, minus 3, and minus 4, and 8. Is there any difference between the two matrix? Actually, there is no, no difference. If this is half minus 0 0.75, 4, 2 divided by 4 equal to half. Minus 3 over 4, minus 3 over 4, 0 0.75. 4 minus 4 divided by 4 minus 1 to 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So both is the same, but what is the right answer you need to write in the exam? This is the right answer in the exam. Why this is the right answer in the exam? Because he, how many marks again? 2. So 2 means in, he need to see the, your step. If you put the answer direct from the calculator, you will take one marks. Only. If you add the step, you will take the two marks. So be sure that you add your step. Here it's very clear. 
without using your calculator without using your calculator work out 2 7 over 9 divided by 5 over 6 give your answer as a fraction fraction answer in its lowest terms lowest terms you must show you must show all each step of your working you must you must show each step you're working and this is four parts four parts so two seven over nine divided by five over six nine multiplied by two is 18 18 plus 7 it's a 25 over 9 divided by 5 over 6 okay so this is 9 this is 6 what is the common factor of both of them 9 and 6 the, the smallest common factor is 18 so if I like to change now 9 to 18, I need it 18, so I need to multiply by 2, multiply by 2. To change 6 to 18, I need to multiply here by 3, multiply by 3. Okay, so now I have 25 multiplied by 2, it will be... <coughs> That's right, 25 multiplied by 2, divided by 80. Here, divide by 5, multiplied by 3, divided by 80. And this is a very important step. Now, 18 here will go with 18 here. What is the remaining of the equation now? The remaining of the equation, it will be 25 multiplied by 2, which is here. Divide direct, divide direct by 5 multiplied by 3. 5 multiplied by 3. So, divided by 5, this 5 will go with 25 and the remaining will be 5. So the answer will be 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10 over 3. I keep the number like this and this is my answer and I add it here. No. Look again to the question. Lowest terms. Lowest terms. What is the lowest terms? I need to change this number to the lowest number which is... 3, 10 divided by 3 equals 3. 3 multiplied by 3 equals to 9. From 10, it would be 3 over 1 over 3. So the answer here would be 3, 1 over 3. Now you will take the 4 parts. How many steps? 1, 2, 3. And this is the 4th step. This question is a factor question and the factor question all the time need to understand and read carefully and translate every point in the question into to the diagram. So let us read B Q R S B Q R S is trapezium with P Q B. Q is 2SR, 2SR. Before you leave this line, before you leave this line, let us translate this line. BQ is equal to 2SR, 2SR. And BQ as a factor is equal to 2A. So PQ is 2A and BQ is equal to 2SR. 
so let me write the RO here, this is SR, if this is 2A, this one must be A, because BQ is 2SR, okay? So BQ as a vector 2A, and PS as a vector, PS as a vector is B. Find the QR vector in, term of, in terms of A and B. Of course, in its simplest form. Of course, in its simplest form. Okay. Let us find the what he want. He want Q R Q R. So he need this one. Let me put it in red and to make it very thick for you to understand. Let us write the equation of this uh, trapezium. Now, as a vector, please. P, this one, P, S, plus S, R, plus R, Q, will equal to B, Q, will equal to B, let me write the equation for you again. P S as a vector plus S R vector plus R Q the vector will be equal to B Q vector. Careful now. He need RQ or he ask about QR. QR. He ask about QR. So you know that RQ as a vector will be equal to minus QR as a vector. Remember and understand what he want from you. So let me repeat the equation now. P S vector plus S R as a vector plus minus Q R as a vector will be equal to B Q vector. Let us translate again P S PS is B plus SR is A minus QR vector will be equal to PQ which is 2A. This A will come to the another direction with minus A. So minus Q R vector will be equal to A minus B. So Q R as a vector is minus go to another side. So it will be B minus B. So now the answer I can start to write the answer B. I hope you understand and careful again all the time to the careful to the direction. The most important thing in the vector is the direction. Careful to the direction, careful to the question, what he asked about. Okay, because this is very important. Let us go to this question. Again, this is vector question. Q, X, uh, sorry, O, X is X. So, O, X is named as X. And O, Y vector, o, y, of course we discussed vector, O, X as a vector is equal to X. And then O, Y as a vector 
is equal to what? Now, m is a point on x, y. This is m. Such that x, m to m, y, x, m, the, the ratio between x, m, between here, this x, m, to m, y, the ratio is 3 to 5. Find O M in term of X and Y. And of course in simplest form. So we need this vector which is from here O to Okay. To find the vector from O to M, definitely we need what we need. Let us draw right here. This is a vector. Let me add. Uh, let me add the arrow here. So O M is equal to O X vector. O X vector. Okay. So O X vector plus X M. So let me write now O M vector will equal to O X as a vector plus X M as a vector. So we need to find the X M because we don't have. We know that X M to M Y is the ratio three. Five. So we need to find first what x y x y. So actually, the o x plus x y is equal to o y. Again, o x plus x y. O x plus x y will equal to O y. Let me write for you. O x as a vector plus x y as a vector is equal to O y as a vector. O x is equal to x plus x y as a vector will equal to O Y is equal to Y. Okay, is equal to Y. So, vector X Y is equal to Y minus X. And this is very, very important question. Equation, very, very important equation. Let us go to the let us go to the question. He said that point M is at XY and XM to MY is equal to three to five. So XM XM is equal to three. This is three and five. Both of them is eight. So x m is three over eight x y vectors. X m is three. The total. 8, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So, x, if, if we said that x, y is 8, so x, m is 3 over 8. This is the ratio. Okay. So, let us go now to the equation here. O, m. O, m. How much? O, m. O, m. Oh, sorry. O, m. This is what he need. O, m. As a vector is equal to O X how much O X O X is X O X is X sorry 
x plus xm now is 3 over 8. Huh. The xy is y minus x. So I can say that OM is equal to x plus 3 over 8 y minus 3 over 8 x. Right? So x minus 3 over 8 x. So it gives us 5 over 8 x plus 3 over 8 y and this is om this is your final answer x minus 3 over 8 x 5 over 8 and y 3 over 8 y i hope you understand the step okay let us go ahead to another question the diagrams show the diagram shows a rectangular rectangular playground A let us see A B C and D. This is our rectangular playground on horizontal ground on horizontal ground. A is a, a vertical sorry a vertical flag ball vertical flag ball cv cf the vertical flag ball cf which is this one from point c six meter height so the height of this flag is six meters stands in the corner stands in the corner of c a b a b is 18 meter and b c b c is 15 meters Calculate the angle of elevation F from A. F from A. So, which angle he need? He need this angle. This one. This one. The address of this line. Which angle he need? need this angle which is f a and c f a f a and c that we need to find this angle which is theta so tan Theta is equal to C F divided by A C. C F is six meter. So A C A C from this triangle square root of fifteen square plus eighteen square. So we need angle theta. So theta is equal to ten minus one or inverse ten six divided by square root or fifty two plus eighteen fifteen square plus eighteen square. Let us bring the calculator and find the answer of angle theta. Shift 10 minus 1 to find the inverse of 10. 6 divided by square root of, open the bracket, 15 square plus 18 square. Close the bracket. And find the answer. Remember all the time it's a two digit answer. Two digit answer. So 
the angle again 14.36 oh the answer is here 14.36 so here 14 how many marks for this equation for for this question four so you need to tell him the step tan theta how you find tan theta how to find ac you can add additional step for ac or you can write direct here in the in the question fritz drives a distance of 38 381 kilometers so he drives 38 uh, 381 kilometers in two hours and 18 minutes so he drives this distance in two hours and 18 minutes he then drives 75 kilometers at the constant speed 30 kilometers per hour calculate the average speed you want the average speed of the whole journey in kilometer of course per hour so let us start to answer this question now he drive the distance equal to 381 kilometer in time equal to two hours and 18 over 60 so divided into hours so in two hours and 18 divided by 60 to transfer minutes into hours second part of the question the distance is 75 kilometers so the distance is given here but in a state of time, he gives us the speed. The speed is constant and it's 30 kilometers per hour. He need what? He need the average speed. So as you know that the speed is equal to distance over time. So to find the average speed, I need the average distance and the average time. To calculate all the distance divided by all the time will give us the average time, the average dis uh, the average speed. Sorry. So the total distance divided by the total time will give us the average speed. I need to find the time here. So from this equation, time is equal to distance divided by speed. Distance divided by speed. So the time in the second journey, so time in the second, in the second part of the journey was equal to 75, which is the distance divided by, divided by the speed, which is 30, will equal to, so 75 divided by 30 will give us the time of the second part of his journey, so 70, sorry, 75 divided by 30 will equal to 5 over 2, which is 2.5, 2.5 hours. And here this time, let us change this time also. So, 18 over 60, 18 divided by 60, that will be 3 over 10, so it will be 2.3. So, this is the time here for the first journey, 2.3, this is the time for the second journey. So, S average, which is the average speed, will equal to the total distance 381 plus 75 divided by the total time which is 2.3 plus 2.5 let us start to use our calculator open bracket don't forget the bracket 
381 which is the first distance plus 75 the second one divided by 2.3 which is the first the time plus 2.5 the second time of the journey so the average speed is 95 so the answer here 95 the answer here is 95 let us continue now <coughs> this is a diagram and of course he will ask about the angle this is geometry again two straight lines v and vz and y w this is v z here this is v z and this is y w intersected at intersect at x v w v w uh, parallel to y z so y z is parallel to the v w the angle x y z x y and z is 57 and the angle v x w this angle v x w is equal to a 88 find the angle w v x w v x he looks for which angle this is the angle he looks for this is the angle he like us to calculate okay because the two lines here, the two lines here is parallel. This is the V, W, and this is the Y, Z. The both line is parallel. You remember the Z condition? What is the Z condition? The Z condition, if we have two parallel line, this angle will be equal to this angle. 57 degree okay so now we find one of the angle of the triangle up so the angle he want to w v x is equal to the triangle here is closed so 180 minus 88 minus 57 all of them is degree so bring your calculator 180 minus 88 minus 57 will equal to 35 so the answer is equal to 35 degree let us go ahead to the another question this is a triangle ABC a triangle and PQ is parallel to BC PQ here this one is PQ is parallel to BC BC as a distance is equal to 12.6 centimeter PQ as a distance is equal 8.4 centimeter and AQ AQ is equal 7.2 centimeter what he need to find AC. Where is AC? AC is a total distance here. Because this two line is parallel and in one triangle, let us write the equation AC divided by the total triangle, the big one, BAC. AC Divide by the second triangle, which is B A Q. So A C divided by A Q. A Q is equal to. Again, the big triangle base, which is B C. Divide by the small triangle base, which is PQ. This is equation you need to remember all the time. 
the ratio between the two sides of two triangles is the same ratio between the base of the triangle if the two base is parallel if the two base is parallel so AC the line that we need to find divided by AQ which is 7.2 will be equal to BC which is 12.6 divided by BQ which is 8.4 Bring your calculator 12.6 12 divided by 8.4 multiply, multiply by 7.2 This is your answer which is 10.8 So AC is equal to AC is equal to 10.8 centimeter and your answer here is 10.8 10.8 let us go through the this question this question is very easy question x power 0 anything power 0 is equal to 1 m power 4 multiplied by m power 3 again any power here if the base is the same we can say that 4 plus 3 equal to 7 so the answer is m power 7 now here this equation 8 b power 6 multiplied by <coughs> 1 over 3 we can say that 8 or 1 over 3 and b power 6 power 1 over 3 8 or 1 over 3 it would be 2 because it would be square root of 8 which is 2 multiplied by b 6 1 over 3 6 divided 6 divided by 3 equal to b power 2 so the answer B to B power two. Here two four three power x is equal to three power two. Find x. To find the x, we need to keep the base is the base is the same base. So two four three is equal to 3 power something what is this something let us try our calculator 3 multiplied by 3 equal to 9 multiplied by 3 equal to 27 multiplied by 3 equal 81 not yet so multiplied by 3 2 4 3 so how many 3 1 2 3 4 5 so 3 power 5, 2, 4, 3, 243 is 3 power 5. So I have here 3 power 5 power x is equal to 3 power 2. So 5x is equal to 2. 5x is equal to 2. Why? Because now the base is 3, the base is 3. So 5 multiplied by x equal 5, x equal to 2, so x is 2 over 5, so the answer here is 2 over 5. Okay, let us go ahead for the last question. The last question is three parts, let us start one by one. This is equation. Two equation of f x and g of x. You need to uh, find f g minus two. So all the time start in this way, inverse way. So g minus two. G minus two means g minus two means minus two power two, which is equal to four. 
So now we change the equation to f4. So it will be 5 multiplied by 4 minus 3 will be equal to 5 multiplied by 4, 20 minus 3, 70. So the answer is 70. Now find g f of x in term of x in its simplest form. So again, we will go in this direction. So f of x, so it will be g, what, 5x minus 3. We replace f of x with 5x minus 3. This one will equal to, where is g, x squared. So now it will be equal to 5x minus 3, the x. We replace the x with this part, square. So the answer will be this part, which is 5x minus 3 power 2, or you can make it like this, 25x squared minus 15, uh, minus 30, sorry, minus 30. 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15. 15 multiplied by 2 is equal to 30x plus 9. You can write the equation in this form, or you can write the equation in this form. Let us continue. f minus 1x, or the inverse of f of x. What is f of x? f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. To find the inverse of this equation, put y is equal to 5x minus 3. I need x now. So y plus 3 is equal to 5x. x is equal to y plus 3 divided by 5. So this is the inverse of x will be equal to x plus 3 over 5. Replace y here with x. So the answer will be x plus 3 divided by 5. What we do again here, we write f of x as y and we find x. When you find the x, replace, so this is the inverse now. Replace every y with x again. So you will find the value of the value of the, the inverse of the function. Okay. Good luck in your exam. Thank you. Bye.